I'm Crystal Toms. I am a park ranger for Queen Anne's County and I am stationed at Terrapin Park. Terrapin Park is located on Kent Island in the town of Stevensville. We have a great picnic area, um, has a few picnic tables and some barbecues. You can come down here with a family and have a little cookout. Uh, we also have some meadow areas which are great for seeing like uh, birds, songbirds and foxes and uh, rabbits and deer and things of that nature. Um, and then we have two saltwater marsh areas, brackish water marsh areas that are good for wading birds like herons and egrets and uh, red-winged blackbirds. And uh, we have the beach area so you can go swimming. And then there's a fishing beach so you can go fishing out there, catch some rockfish. And there's a four mile trail system here. So if you want to take a bike ride or go for a hike, it's a great place to go. It's part of the Cross Island Trail too? or Yep, it connects to the Cross Island Trail. This is the point on the trail down here at Terrapin Park, where if you go this way, there's about a four mile trail that goes around past the beach and, and a lot of the amenities and the meadows and the different areas and comes back around to the parking lot. If you go this way on the trail, this is the Cross Island Trail and you can ride this all the way up to Kent Narrows where some of the restaurants are and some different things. You can take your pets on it, walk with the family, ride bikes. You just can't take any motorized vehicles. So we also have a freshwater pond right adjacent to the park. Um, it's not very far at all. It is a stocked pond where you can go fishing and you can do catch and release. Um, there's also a lot of turtle species there. There's a huge snapping turtle that I've seen a few times. Um, and often I'll see an eagle there or um, some osprey even. And like I said, more wading birds. So do you need to have a fishing license, like a Maryland State fishing license to Yes, you go do. Go fishing at any of the places down here? Yep, you do. The swimming area has a great view. You can see the Bay Bridge all the way over to the western shore. Um, you can see ferries and boats going by. It's actually really cool. I saw a cruise ship last weekend, so it's a great view down there. And um, the beach is a swim at your own risk, but it's a great beach to go to. A lot of kids and families come here often and go swimming, and it's really nice. We have a huge meadow in the back of the park um, and it is technically what we would call an early successional habitat where you're going to find a lot of grass eating species such as deer and cottontails and you'll find a lot of songbirds that migrate here um, like warblers and veeries and chickadees and stuff of that nature. Um, and it's a really great habitat for butterflies and bees and different types of insects. Yep, there's a, often a few people here um, trying to check some birds off of eBird. We have one guy in particular who likes to watch the herons and the egrets over by the saltwater marshes and everything. The park is open from sunrise to sunset. Pretty much we give you like a half hour window after the sunset just to try to get out of the park and if you want to watch the sunset to watch it and then skedaddle. We have a board here at the parking lot area that has a map and it'll show you where you are and how far the trail goes and it'll show you markers that we have around the park to show you how far you've gone and how far you can go and things of that nature. So Phil you mentioned something about these signs down here at the park at Terrapin Park. Yes it was the Eagle Scout project um, back in uh, late 2014 early 2015 uh, Jeffrey Mayer placed uh, 15 of these informational signs all along the walking trail here at Terrapin Park. It's all based on environmental and um, a, the weather conditions and the human relation to the environment, what we've done to uh, create some uh, hazards and what things we've done to make improvements. Today, you're gonna take some kids out on a tour. Yep, uh, some kids from the Recreation Department of Queen Anne's County is coming down to uh, go for a little tour around the park. I'm gonna take them around the whole thing. Uh, we're gonna go around the meadow area, the woods area, and down the fishing beach, and swimming beach, and then uh, through the salt marsh area. And that's a, this is a great way for kids to learn about the wildlife of Maryland, yeah, and the, the plants too. I'll do a little bit of, th of things with plants because um, we don't really see too much wildlife during the day, but I'll point out some birds and maybe we'll see some snakes or turtles or something. Snakes? Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll talk about some native plant species, but I also talk to them about some invasive species that we have here too and what an invasive species is and what they can do to help with invasive species. Um, to try to keep native plants here and healthy. 
um, and to help the ecosystem here. Find out more about recreation programs by going on the web to parksandrec.org. That's parks, the letter N, rec.org.